Hello again Guardians, it's Cortanium back with another Destiny 2 video and today we are talking about Destiny 2 New Light. Now this New Light expansion is the next expansion or the next you know free play expansion for the majority of Destiny players in the Destiny universe. As you can see in this background here, this is the entire thing we're looking at. I'm going to be going over all these new activities you guys are getting access to in New Light. And so let's start it off. You are getting access to the Year 1 Exotic Weapons and Armor in New Light. And so any year one stuff that's exotic, Bungie is giving you access to. This does not include any year one stuff that is legendary or any, you know, year one Trials of Osiris stuff. That stuff is still kind of off limits. We have no idea what Bungie is doing with that. But at least you guys will know that you guys can have access to all those exotic weapons, all those exotic ornaments, and those exotic guns from year one of Destiny, along with year two and year three. Up next, players of New Light will receive free roam access to all destinations. This includes the moon, this includes the Dreaming City, the Tangled Shore, Mercury, it includes every single destination no matter what DLC it is in. You will be able to go patrol there, you'll be able to do Lost Sectors there. The only thing you will not be allowed to do in the case of Forsaken and Shadowkeep is you will not be allowed to play those campaign missions. You will not be allowed to play those certain exotic quests that have to deal with the DLC, that have to deal with a certain annual pass. You will not be able to do those, but you still will be able to roam around on those locations and look around for certain things. And uh, if you watch some of my videos, I'm sure I will make moon out of map videos right away. And so you guys can probably glitch into the DLC areas of the moon if you stay on this channel. New Light players will also get access to campaigns, all player versus enemy campaigns, including that of the Red War, the Curse of Osiris, and Warmind. All of those are accessible to the New Light players right away, right off the bat. There's no wait time, there's no nothing, there's no pay gate. All of this is free to New Light players. And so you can play through the entire base Destiny campaign in Red War. You can play through the Curse of Osiris DLC. If you can consider it a DLC and not like a strike mission at this point. And you can play through the entire Warmind DLC as well. And those missions will be very fun. But along with when you come to the end of those missions, you will have to buy the DLC for Forsaken or for Shadowkeep if you want to continue going on those quests and continue the storyline of Destiny 2. Otherwise, you will only be able to patrol those locations. As previously stated, you will only be able to patrol those locations and look around. You will not be able to continue onwards with your quests unless you actually buy the DLC for that respective platform that you're playing on. All New Light players will also receive additional content that includes Black Armory Forges, Gambit Prime, and the Menagerie. And so basically, they're making the entire annual pass here free. <laughs> All these content things that they're talking about, the Black Armory Forges, the Gambit Prime, and the Menagerie, these were all exclusive activities to the first three seasons of the annual pass, and now they're making them free for all New Light players. And so enjoy that. Those will be tons of new rewards and activities in those New Light activities. These are one of the three best things about Destiny. Gambit Prime is okay, you guys can play a couple matches, the Menagerie is fun and rewarding, and so are the Forges, especially if you like to go AFK in the Forges, I believe that glitch still works if you new players are thinking about saving up on a bunch of legendary shards and materials. Some additional modes that are also going to be present in Destiny 2 New Light include Year 1 Nightfall Strikes. These are all the Nightfall Strikes from Destiny 2 Year 1, they're also going to be all the Nightfall Strikes from Year 2 and Year 3 as well. But year one, that's a you know a special one because those nightfall strikes are the very far back, and those were locked behind pay gates. But guess what? They're all free. You will receive access to any gambit. Gambit matches were previously locked behind Forsaken, but you can play any gambit match now as long as you're a new light player. And private matches for gambit and crucible will be available to you along with new light. And so all of this stuff for free. They're basically making hundreds of dollars of DLC that other players paid for for free now and so you guys better take advantage of this. I hope this improves the Destiny 2 player base a lot. It's gonna actually, you know, make a bunch of things free and make a bunch of things very fun because with more people comes more fun, hopefully. You will get access to all Crucible playlists. All Crucible in general, all PvP. You get access to all of it. You get free seasonal updates and so that means every time, you know, the Crucible updates you have Iron Banner, you have doubles you have you know crimson days those are what they mean by seasonal updates and you will be able to play those no matter what dlcs you have as long as you have new light all of this stuff is free to you you also get access to any crucible sets for your warlock your hunter or your titan and any sets of guns that they release in crucible for your warlock or hunter and titan i mean guns are all the same but 
any guns, any Crucible advised guns, any Crucible advised armor sets, you will get access to. They are not locked behind DLCs anymore. New Light fixes all of that, and it also gives you access to the Strike playlist. All the strikes of PvE, you get the direct launch of Year 1 strikes and Vanguard weapons and gear. And so, seeing how they put Strike playlists and direct launch of Year 1 strikes in separate little word bubbles, I assume that there's a difference between the Strike playlist and the Year 1 strikes. And so they'll probably have a separate playlist for all Year 1 strikes because those were all, you know, enjoyable on their own accord and a separate strike playlist for you know all the newer strikes that we have or maybe just all strikes in general not really sure how they're gonna do this these words are kind of confusing but bear with me guys there's a lot of new stuff Bungie is doing for us in this update on the fun part of things and by the raid part of things I mean new light players will get access to all year one raids of destiny 2 you get all year one raid weapons and gear and so this includes raids like the leviathan and I assume they also mean the raid layers of the leviathan as well and so by year one raids, because it's plural, it has an S in it, I assume they're adding in all the raid layers as well. And you guys can pick up, you know, the Midnight Coup, all these fantastic guns and weapons and armor sets. You these really cool, you know, lighting up armor sets for their heroic version of the Leviathan that you can get. And so enjoy all those armor sets and enjoy the raid, because these raids are extremely fun. Raids are the pinnacle of the Destiny 2 experience. They're one of the most competitive, one of the most uniting things about Destiny 2. You guys will be able to find, you know, fire teams that will help you out with a lot of raids. If one of you guys is watching right now, make sure to add me on Xbox. Cortanium is my <laughs> gamer tag. And I will help you out with your new raids. Come, come new light, brother, I will help you out. I will guide you. I will Sherpa you through that raid and we will get it done. Just add me on Xbox, brother. We will get it done and just in case you were wondering. And let's move on to the last item of New Light. In-game events. Players of New Light will get access to Iron Banner, like I mentioned earlier. Festival of the Lost, the Halloween event. The Dawning, which is the Christmas event. Crimson Days, which is the Valentine's Day event. There's doubles and Crucible, and you get some cool emblems. The Revelry, which is uh, just a one-week thing, along with Solstice of Heroes. They're basically the same exact activity, except the Revelry and Solstice of Heroes. They give you one week to do this, you know, this challenge, or they challenge you. And they give you, you know, a glowy armor set. And so I assume if they're giving us a list of all these in-game events, they're planning to repeat these in-game events. And so I expect another revelry. I expect another solstice of heroes to come along. Hopefully they learn from the community this time and they make it a little bit longer. Because one week just wasn't enough for me to get any of my armor sets last time. And I honestly love the Christmas events and the Halloween events. And you guys will too once you get to play them. And so hopefully... You know, it launches October 1st, New Light, okay? And so that Halloween event is also going to launch, you know, October 29th. And so if you guys can play for 30 days, get your Guardian up to 9-6 or whatever the power cap is. And, you know, play some Festival of the Lost. That is an extremely fun thing. Usually they have, you know, a randomly generating Mercury type thing where you just keep on going and keep on fighting baddies to upgrade your armor and upgrade... You know, whatever missions you have and get some cool rewards at the end. There's a kind of new activity that they have that's exclusive to only these events. And I hope to play that. And you guys should hope to too if you're a New Light player. New Light is bringing a lot of the DLC stuff back to the free players. And I'm sure Bungie is going to get a bunch of reputation for it. Because making a game this big, this free, is bound to be a big thing and a fun thing. And one last thing before I wrap this up boys. Bungie has just released a tweet. And they say that the Reckoning is included in the New Light expansion. You can get Thunderlord, Arbalest, Outbreak Perfected, Bad Juju. You can get all those exotics with New Light as well. And the Reckoning is just an activity after Gambit Prime, if you're unknown to this, where you can get four cool new armor sets that will actually help you out in Gambit and Gambit Prime. And so those are cool armor sets. Those are cool weapons you can get, except that the rewards from the activities above are included with New Light, except the associated exotics. And so, imagine that one of these other, you know, quests has a quest off branch of it that has something to do with another exotic. No, only these exotic quests are actually given to you along with the, you know, the exotic quests in the base game of Destiny 2 and Warmind and whatever DLCs they give you. The Forsaken subclasses are not available in New Light, and so that's a sad note to end with. But for Forsaken subclasses, you will not be able to access the Blade Barrage subclass, the Nova Warp subclass or the Titan Missile subclass along with 
all the respective other subclasses as well. It's the middle tree. You will not be able to access the middle tree of any of these classes, the Hunter, Warlock, or Titan. But guess what, boys? There's a ton of new stuff you're getting. There's a ton of updates that Bungie's bringing to us. All of this stuff is coming to you for free. You know, this is more than just a free game. This is an awesome game. And I hope you guys will bear with me as we go through all the Shadow Keep and all of the new light content. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you Guardians in the next one.